Hi, I'm Becky and welcome to VertiClimb. Let's get logged in and take a look around. First thing you're going to see is the welcome page. It has your name. Today we're a manager and I wanted to show you a few things that a manager would be able to do that a student wouldn't do. Uh, a couple of those things are the sign-in, manager view, admin information, these buttons right here you would not see as a normal student. We'll take a look at those later. I'd like you to take a look at the top. You're going to see a header. We can customize this from our standard VertiClimb to some artwork and your company's logo and text up here. You just need to provide it to us. Also take a look over in the right hand corner and you're going to see a link says Espanol. Click on it and it's in Espanol. Click on Anglais and it's back. Those are some simple toggle buttons we built in. Make it a little bit easier. Quick links, these are uh, also buttons to help guide which is always there for you and your students as well as a quick tour. Uh, FAQs page shows a few basic facts. We're always updating that page so um, you might want to just keep checking back for our interactive system that we're going to be launching later. Contact Us is just going to launch a um, email page so that you can contact us and you don't have to remember what the email is. Scroll down a little bit and we're going to take a look at learning plans. Learning plans are groups of courses that uh, you choose at the roll-on process and we assign to your employees. So not every single employee sees every single course. That's all based on what you want to do. And right now I'm going to click on the plus sign to expand the course listing and manage your core courses. And you'll see that these are more generic type things that probably everyone in your company might want to take. Then, let's say you have more of a maintenance crew, they're probably going to be looking at a compliance and safety and have some more concerns with OSHA and OSHA titles. So you can see that these are pretty different and might not be something that you'd want to give to an office administrator or something like that. You can, of course, customize the name of these uh, learning plans if you wish. They don't have to say this. In order to launch a course, all you do is click directly on the course link. It takes you to a splash page that says to click here to launch again. And then an additional course box pops up and you will see text, you will hear sound and the voiceover narration for the courses. And all of the courses have some form of a quiz that requires a passing score in order to get credit. We also have, uh, you can click on drug free workplace, same kind of thing. And let's say you've already taken a course, you want to come back in, you want to resume where you left off, you don't want to take it all over again. Uh, and here you are. And you can start and stop as often as needed. I'm going to close out of here and we'll move on to the rest of the LMS. All right, I'd like to draw your attention to the left-hand navigation panel. Again, the About Me and Information Center, those are uh, options that every person's going to have. Student, manager, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to focus on these first, and then we'll pop up to manager and admin. My training is simply just uh, repeating what learning plans or skills. Uh, if you have repeating skills you need to do every single year, like sexual harassment training annually, they'd also appear here. We can set that up for you too as well during the roll-on process. My training history, it is a history of everything you've ever taken and your scores, the dates you completed them. If you've taken them multiple times, like this one in food handling, it will show all of the times you've taken them. Uh, a certificate is also listed here if you wish to display your certificate. My profile, it's just going to show your profile information that, um, that you will have given to us to roll on at the roll on process. This is also where anyone can go to change their passwords if they need to. My, uh, my mailbox, pardon me. This is an intra LMS system mailbox, so it's, it's not going to take outbound e email into it. However, it will um, do outbound messages to your employees. So if you use this to send out an announcement to people uh, and you provide your staff emails to us or their Gmails, doesn't matter what it is, when you send a message through this system and we have those emails, we can actually uh, have it replicate to that person's inbox. So they'll get a message inside the system as well as outside the system. Library. Library is a collection of links, uh, some different topics that we thought would be useful to uh, all kinds of people. And uh, they are update, mainly updated by OSHA, um, Department of Labor, 
those types of government sources. Announcements page. Announcements page can take embedded videos. Uh, we have a lightning safety video here as well as an announcement announcing that for the week. So you might just want to get in the habit of checking in that. We can assist you with updating this if you have your own announcements. So I'm going to go away from this page and go to the calendar. If you were tracking instructor-led training, you could have it appear on this calendar. For right now, we don't do that. We do online training. But uh, we have some options that if you would like to integrate your own training and kind of run reports together with our online and yours, we can, uh, we can talk about that. It would appear on this calendar. Safety news. Again, some news links that are of interest that uh, have occurred in the safety realm. OSHA eTools, try to go out and find some useful things that are out there for the public so that you can, um, you know, you can come in and use this as maybe a speaking aid, toolbox talks, things like that. And they're available for your use and for students' reviews. As promised, we're going to take a look at the manager view. As a manager, I'm going to want to make sure the people in my department are taking the training that I have assigned to them. This is where you go. Click on Manager View, and again, if you're a student, you don't get that button at all, so you're not going to be able to see this page. Uh, and also, if you need to have reporting so that your department uh, can see supervisors and the supervisor's direct reports, then we need to set up something called the Supervisor Hierarchy, and that will be done at the roll-on process, which basically means that supervisors can see themselves and the people underneath them but they cannot see peers or people above them. So you don't have to worry about other people running reports on other departments. You can see that this manager supervises all of these people. I'm not going to go into a reporting. Um, a reporting will take too long, but uh, let's just take a look quickly at what the interface looks like. I'll go to the Learn Center report because that's pretty basic and pretty much what everyone needs. You just simply select your users uh, inside of this box and there are items to choose from, courses, events, um, normally would, like your learning plans would be in here if you wanted to choose the different learning plans that we had looked at and you can see that they are listed in here. You would select those. Uh, filters, you can filter by start date. Maybe you only want to see what happened last month. Uh, there are plenty of ways you can filter them. And of course, we have documentation. And we're always here to assist you uh, at any time, not just during the startup, but at any time if you need help with reports. Um, these are all the fields that you have available that you can choose from. There's quite a few. I'm going to quickly scroll through here because I don't want to take too long. Um, and then you would just basically click Build Report. I've already built a report, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. In the report manager, good news, once you build a report, let's say you love it, it's got everything you ever wanted in it, you don't have to keep choosing all those fields. All you would do is come into this report manager interface, and you can either just rerun the report using this green button, or you can view the last time you run it. We're going to view the last time we ran a report. This is what it looks like built into the window interface. It tells a person's name, the course name they took, whether it was completed, the date, the score, and how much time they actually spent in the course, which can be nice, especially if you're paying people at home to do their courses because you don't want them to train on site and they use their own personal computers. You can see how long they actually spent in there. Did they just run in, do four seconds, and, and try to get fancy? Who knows? Whatever you want to do, it's a nice option to have it. You can also download this information into Excel. Most people like to have it in Excel, and you just click Export Report, and then it downloads it. And here it is in Excel, and you can do whatever you like from here. You can sort it, you can turn it into um, you know, a chart, however you want to view it. Then there's the admin information, and this is just uh, kind of some information that maybe not everyone is really going to find useful. Uh, we can upload your documents in here. If maybe it's like policies and procedures that you don't want the whole company to see or uh, something like that. Uh, here we've just put human resources topics. We've got the OSHA form 300, which is used to uh, report accidents and injuries, um, different types of e-tools, things that not everybody might uh, find interesting, but you might in HR or manager positions, posters, uh, other types of things like that. 
Keep in mind that we can always upload your links and within reason depending uh, we have some restrictions on how much we're going to actually upload as far as uh, eating up lots of space with video or uh, PowerPoints or something like that but you know we can always talk we're open. Uh, you can add your company library or we can even add a whole page that has embedded videos uh, usually YouTube's a nice one because it's already ultra compressed things like that it's quite versatile and flexible so please please give us a call or um, you know just uh, drop us an email if you have any other questions hope you enjoyed this thanks a lot for sticking with me I'm Becky thank you for finding Verticline